What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to cover how to fix a disabled Facebook ad account or how to fix a disabled business manager. Um, and so I hope you find this video valuable. It is something that's a lot of people are trying to figure out right now. A lot of people, a lot of my business buddies or people that just follow me on social and see what I'm doing there. They message me asking me, hey, how do I get my ad account? You know, can you help me get my ad account back up? Uh, or my business manager is shut down, like what can I do? So um, I'm gonna go over what to do, okay? And, and if you can fix it, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, just like with any problem, is you wanna identify what the problem is um, to begin with, right? So whenever, whenever you have a problem arise, um, usually the, the reason you found out that the problem exists is because of some kind of symptom, right? You have, you know, you have a sore throat. There's a, a few different problems that might occur because uh, and that are creating your sore throat, right? Just as a, an example or a headache, right? In this case, you either got an email or you or your revenue got cut in half for the day because your ads weren't running because um, one of these got disabled. So the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out which one of these is the problem. Did your actual ad account get shut down? That's within your business manager. Did your business manager itself get disabled or did your personal ad account, your, your personal ad access get um, disabled, okay? And if your personal ad account got disabled, this is the worst out of the three, okay? The, 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 one, that, the one that's the least um, big of a deal is your ad account getting shut down um, then your business manager, the worst, the worst scenario is you get your personal ad account shut down. I'm going to go over that in a different video because it's a whole different beast. It's a different complex pro pro uh, process to try and fix that. And there's some steps that you want to take to avoid that happening in the first place. But um, the way to find out what the actual issue is, is to go to your, your actual business manager where you run ads. Okay, you're going to go to business settings. And I'll use mine, for example, let me go to mine. And so the thing you want to understand first and foremost is within your, within your business manager, um, which is like your business account, um, you want to have backup ad accounts. You see Nick Mullen here, Nick Mullen 2, Nick Mullen 3. Uh, 2 and 3, these are backup ad accounts. All right, so once you're spending some money in an ad account, you want to go in here and create new ad accounts to have backups, okay, in case this happens to begin with, okay? Um, but the way to know whether your ad account is shut down or whether it's your business manager is if one of these ad accounts, if you click on one of these and it says, and it, there's like a red, a red prompt and it says, um, uh, advertising access is restricted or ad ad account is restricted then that will show on just one of your ad accounts within the business manager okay that means that you have an ad account that's shut down okay but if you go in here and all of your ad all of your ad accounts within that the business manager are shut down then that means that the whole business manager, your whole business account is shut down. Okay, that's how you can tell the difference between those two, right? You can also go into um, some of the ta these tabs and it'll clearly have all of, there will be red prompts on a lot of your assets, basically saying, hey, your business manager shut down, you can't run ads or, or do anything with these assets in this business manager, okay? So that's how you tell the difference between these two, all right? And again, having backup ad accounts before an ad account gets shut down is, that's what you, you wanna make sure that that occurs. And I'll show you that, I'll show you why in a second. The way to find out if you have a personal ad account shut down is you're gonna to go to the ads manager. And under this drop down, you're gonna see all your ad accounts for your different, that are under your different business managers that you have access to. Um, and what you want to do is you want to navigate to the one that's assigned to you personally. And mine's right here. I'm going to click on it. My personal ad 
account is not shut down, obviously, but if yours was, then when you go to your personal ad account, a big, bold, red prompt will come up and it'll basically say your, per, your, your, ad, your personal ad access um, is disabled, you're not able to run ads, basically is what it's gonna say. And that's not good at all, okay? Hopefully that's not the case, but that's how you find out if, if, that, if, if your personal ad access is restricted. Basically what that means is um, it's not your ad account, your business's ad account that's restricted, it's not your business manager that's restricted, it's you that's restricted, okay? You, um, let's say your name is John Wilson, right? Um, if you're logged, in, logged into your Facebook, um, your Facebook profile as John Wilson and you're logged into the business manager as John Wilson, the user, then you can't access any of your business managers, any of your ad accounts, right? Because you, you are restricted, not your business manager, okay? So for obvious reasons, that's, a big, that's not a good thing, okay? So in this video, Again, I'm not going to cover that one because that's a, that's a whole other beast. But if you have one of those two issues where your ad account's shut down or your business manager shut down, I'm going to go over that right now. Okay. So if your ad account is disabled, okay, the first thing which I already talked about is you want to have a backup ad accounts to begin with, right? All within the same business manager. Like I showed you here, if I go to business settings. Under the tab uh, marked as ad accounts, you'll either have no ad accounts or one ad account. And once you're spending some money, once you spend money for like uh, five days or seven days or something like that, Facebook will give you the option to create new ad accounts. And you just want to label them. You can label them as the business name two or three or whatever. But make sure you have backup ad accounts. And the reason for that is because if one ad, one, one ad account doesn't mean that you can't use your other ad accounts, which is why you have backup ad accounts to begin with. But uh, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna request a manual review. Now this does not mean that you can, this doesn't mean that you can get the ad account back per se, but it's a way of reaching out to Facebook and saying, hey, um, can you please review why this ad account got shut down and you know please remove the restriction if it if there's if the reason is invalid basically um, and so if your ad account is shut down or disabled when you click on here there will be an option to request a review okay and you're gonna go through that and you're gonna follow the prompts and finish that process okay and then it's a waiting game all right and then um, if you do have backup ad accounts what you want to do is you want to simply then go into a back, one of your backup ad accounts and start advertising out of one of your backup ad accounts. Just like I said, if this one were to get disabled, all I'd do is I'd go into Nick Mullen 2 and I'd make sure I have a, a payment method attached to this ad account and I'd go to the ads manager and I'd rebuild my campaigns in that ad account, okay? Because that ad account is not disabled. Um, if you don't have backup ad accounts when your ad account got disabled, um, and if Facebook doesn't give you the option to create a backup ad account at this point, which can happen, like if you have, if, if Nick Mullen was my only ad account and this one got shut down, depending on what version of Facebook you're in at the time, they, it, it may not give you the option to create a new ad account, okay? So if that's the case, then you need to act as if your whole business manager is disabled, okay? So, which is basically this step, okay? So I'll reiterate, if you did not have backup ad accounts, if you only had one ad account and that ad account got disabled um, and Facebook does not allow you to create backup ad accounts, then you need to act as if your whole business manager got disabled, okay? So you're gonna do everything that I'm about to describe here if that's the case, okay? So this step is for if you need a new, if you need to fix your disabled business manager, all right? So the first thing is to request a manual review. Again, depending on what version of 
the Facebook backend you're, you're currently using or that Facebook is currently having you use, there, you will have somewhere where you it will give you the option to, to request a review. And I'll, below this video, I'll link some of the uh, support links that Facebook has where you can go in and, and, and um, conduct one of these manual reviews, okay? It's a very similar process. Um, that's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna request a review, and then once you finish that process, you basically wanna act as if you're never gonna get this business manager back because you very well may never get this business manager back, just to be direct with you. I know that's sad or whatever, but it's the truth, okay? So now that you have accepted in your soul <laughs> that you are you may never get this business manager back, now it's time to for the actual solution, okay? You're gonna take a business manager from a friend or a family member. Okay, and I'll explain, okay? Step one, you're gonna find a family member or a friend who will never be running Facebook ads ever, okay? Find someone who is not in your household ideally because you don't want them to be on your same Wi-Fi. Um, and you, don't, you obviously don't want them to be on your same computer because Facebook tracks your IP address. Um, so, you know, your cousin, your, your Grammy, your grandma, you know, <laughs> Uncle Joey's weird girlfriend, etc. Find someone who is not going to be running Facebook ads and it's very clear that they'll, they'll never be running Facebook ads. Like a, your grandma is a perfect example if she's on Facebook. Okay. Uh, there's people that use like dead people's profiles in some instances. It's kind of, it's kind of creepy. Um, okay. So you want to find someone like that. Okay. Now step two is you want to have them log into, you want to make sure they're logged into their Facebook profile on their own computer, okay? Then you want to have them go to business.facebook.com, okay? Business.facebook.com will take you to a page that doesn't look like that because you'll be logged out, okay? Have them go to Facebook, business.facebook.com, and then you're gonna have them create a Facebook business account um, as prompted on that page. In the top right, um, it'll say, you know, create business account or something like that on that page, okay? Have that person follow the prompts on their computer. You're not gonna do this on your computer. Have them follow the prompts of creating a business account and you can have them call the new business account, you know, the name of your business, right? Um, you know, if you're, if you're, um, business is Joe's car washing, then you can call it, have them call it Joe's car washing or whatever. Okay. Again, do not do this on your own computer um, that you run ads on and that you access your Facebook profile from. Okay. Have them do it on their computer. Once they have followed the prompts and created this business account, you are going to do step three. Okay, and you're gonna have them go to business settings and then they're gonna go to bit, uh, people. Okay, so once once they're in the back end of Facebook, have them go to business settings. All right, so they're gonna go to the ham, like the three lines up here, go to business settings, and then they're gonna navigate to under users to people. They're gonna click on people and then they're gonna click on this add button, okay? Once they click on this add button, what you're gonna have them do is you're gonna have them add your email to this bar, okay? So you're gonna add your email here and then you're gonna have them give you admin access, okay? Admin access. Make sure this toggle's on. They're gonna put your email in here and they're gonna go through the, the next prompts. Okay, and they're gonna submit it. All right. Once that happens, you're gonna do step four. Okay. Now you, as the person that will be running the ad, the, the business manager, you're gonna receive an email uh, with a login prompt from Facebook. All right. And basically, you're gonna log into your Facebook profile. And it's gonna take you to the new business manager that, that, that your friend or family member has created. Okay. Now, once you do that, remember you are now an admin. You have access. You have as much power as 
your fa friend or family member had as the creator of this business manager. Okay, so you can do whatever you want, which leads to step number five. Now what you wanna do is you're now gonna remove the original creator, your friend or family member, from this new business manager. Okay, you're essentially gonna hijack this new business manager, all right? So what you wanna do, you're gonna go back to business settings, and like I did before, you're gonna go to people, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see there's two names here, okay? I'll use a different example real quick. So you can visualize what's gonna happen here. I use a different business, business manager here. You'll see two names here. Two names will pop up. The first one will be the person who is your friend or family member that created the business manager. The second one will be your name. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna click on your friend or family member's name and you're gonna see in the top right here this remove button, okay? You're gonna click on that and follow whatever prompts come up and you'll notice that you are now the only operator, the, old, the only admin of the business manager now, okay? And at that point, you have now successfully hijacked this person's business manager and you have a, a new business manager, okay? And that's it, so. Um, that's how you get a new business manager. One thing to note, a little pro tip, when you add a payment method to this new business manager, use a different debit or credit card, use, like, use a different payment method than the one that you used on your previous business manager that got disabled. Um, the reason for that is because Facebook is gonna be like, oh, that credit card looks familiar. I wonder where that was from. And then they're gonna, the algorithm's gonna shut the new business manager down. Um, another thing, when your, when your friend or family member is creating the new business manager, one, remember, don't make sure they're not on your Wi-Fi, your same Wi-Fi, make sure they're not on your computer and make sure they, like when they, when they create the business account, make sure they use their own email. Don't have them use your email because, um, same thing, same logic as the credit card, uh, the payment method logic, okay? Use a different payment method um, and you'll be good, okay? So this is how to um, fix a disabled Facebook ad account or a business manager and I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, DM me on Instagram or uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.